Say hi, Auntie. Can you say, uh, Dada? Dada. Uh, <laughs> How about uh, Mama? Uh, How about Fish? Fish. Oh, you put your little toes over here. Oh, Yeah. Well, happy evening. Um, I just wanted to show you the beautiful sunset. <laughs> it's so pretty. I thought we were going to get rain the rest of the day, but we sure didn't. Um, but it wasn't too hot, but it wasn't too cool either. So, I don't know. Um, I was out running some errands. I need to go home and drain. And then um, I'll be able to go out to see a band play tonight. Some of my friends are playing. I don't, I'm not familiar with this area. <laughs> so I'm like a little bit like, what's happening? Oh, let me not crash my car. That would be terrible. So, obviously, I got my car back. Yay. Um, my bill actually ended up being around $350, um, which my son took care of, which was very nice. Um, I'm going to pay him back, but I think I'm going to pay him back in diapers because, you know, he'll always be running out of diapers, so I figured could buy him diapers every time I go to Costco and kind of pay him back that way and then I don't have to worry about it. Um, I went to do a, a oil change yesterday and some idiot decided that he was going to park his car in protest out of the Bay Area which made everybody else who had appointments um, like out into the road almost and he was inside yelling at the management or whatever that he had an appointment and how dare anybody else have an appointment. It was his old big thing. And I felt really bad for the um, workers there. And so I just told them, look, I'll just come back tomorrow, which is today. And I'll go ahead and do my appointment then because I don't, I don't have to... Um, do it right now, you know, like, I just need to get it done this week, though, because it was supposed to be done at the beginning of July, and now it's on the 1st of August, so I really need to take care of it, but anyhow, um, so I scheduled it for today, and then I got a text message at 6 in the morning, and they're like, they had to cancel my appointment to get my oil changed, and it just really sucks, because I was really wanting to have... I don't know what this person is doing. Like, turn already. You're fine. Good Lord. Um, I, I don't know why they canceled it, but tomorrow, no, Saturday, I was supposed to have it done around 7 or 8. So I'm going to be first in line on Saturday morning because I need to get this done. Plus, I'm hoping to go to Bisbee on Saturday. And so... Um, I need to have my oil changed for that as well. So, uh, yep, exciting times. The fun thing about going to Bisbee on Saturday, though, is that I'll have Charlie with me, which is always a fun adventure. And then I'll be all probably stop by my friend Jasmine's house because she's like in between Bisbee and Tucson. And if we need to go potty or to hang out and eat dinner, I've known her since seventh grade, so quite a long time. And it's always fun to go visit, you know. They're a very welcoming Hispanic family that's just like super cool. And Donnie loves going over there. <laughs> so I think that'll be super fun. Um, Saturday. Also, I want to get to Bisbee early enough to get to 
their farmer's market because that's always super fun too. So, yeah, such is the life, just one day at a time. Um, other than that, I've been doing really good. I've been feeling good. Again, this morning I went to work out and I did end up crashing at like noon because Charlie was supposed to come at noon. So I sat at the couch waiting for him to come and he didn't come till one and I crashed out solid for that hour. And then I, I jerked awake and I was like, oh my God, Charlie. And uh, I texted his mom and was like, I thought it was coming at 12. And she's like, I'm on my way. And so anyways, it worked out that I was able to be awake for him, of course. And then I had to do my exchange. So it all worked out. But I was like, I knew, I knew that my body would be like punishing once um, I got home from working out. But I, I actually expected to be very sore or very tired sooner than I was. So it's pretty cool that I'm actually okay. You know, I'm, I mean, we'll see about tomorrow. I really do want to work out tomorrow as well. I hope that I can report to you that I did work out because I do enjoy it. Um, but <laughs> we'll see in the morning because, uh, I don't know, you know, I, I think I'm on that week where I'm on that hormonal high of, of new things. It's the new of the month. You know, it's like a, a do-over stage of life um, and all of that kind of thing. And then we'll see like next week how I feel because <laughs> very much so I could be like, forget it. Um, but, you know, I really want to try to stay with it, even if it means I'm just walking on the treadmill because even walking is doing something. So, trying to get in all my steps as much as possible, and then uh, we'll see what happens, because, you know, things are good. Um, so, yeah. I am in the hunt for some new shoes, though, because the shoes I have are pretty crummy, and I've had them for so long that it's just time to get new shoes, and the shoes are expensive. Um... But I don't really have shoe issues or feet issues, and so I can usually get away with a pair at Walmart that's not like their cheapest brand, but like their other brands, you know, maybe $20, $30 at the most. Um, then, and that'll work because if you don't know this, you wear your shoes and unless there's something like a Converse that has kind of a flat sole and not really much of a cush, then you actually wear out shoes pretty quickly. And I think it's something like, there's like this timeline that you're supposed to wear shoes, especially if you're running. That's, that's what I mean, like running or hiking consistently like you need to change your shoes out almost like a toothbrush you know like you should do it every I don't even know what you do for a toothbrush I think I do it like every other month I try to get a new toothbrush out for everybody but um, your shoes are like the same thing because they've taken so much shock um, and so forth by your working out or running or whatever the case may be so you know, I'm supposed to have a package delivered. I wonder if this is my delivery guy. I should try to see if he is because I really do need this package. <laughs> All right. I'm going to talk to you later. Have a good night. See you soon. Bye-bye.